Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. We've talked a lot about the traffic control devices that are automatic, you know, like so a camera that photographs you as you run a red light and then mails you a ticket. Uh, or a speed camera that uh, photographs speeders and sends them tickets and that kind of thing. And now, don't get me wrong, I think traffic laws are good uh, and they should be enforced, but I've never felt good about putting a machine someplace and just having it kick out tickets for a variety of reasons, not the least of which is the technology is not always perfect, but also because the machine does not use any discretion and police officers at the side of the road can use discretion, and I, and I like that to be the case, that there's a human involved. But you also hear them say, but think of the children, <laughs> the safety. It's always a safety issue. And if we put a machine at this intersection and it kicks out red light tickets or speed tickets, it's going to make things safer. It's going to make things safer. Now, on the other hand, a lot of people, skeptics, say, are you sure it's about safety or is it about generating revenue? Revenue generation. You're doing this, you're writing tickets to make money. That's what a lot of people think. So Jason sent me this note and said, Steve, check out this story. Because the uh, Sentinel in Colorado, sentinelcolorado.com writes, and Max Levy is a writer, Aurora lawmakers propose ending photo radar van contract after mushrooming financial losses. So they've got a van that has a radar system in it that can somehow issue photo tickets, and it's losing money. (laughs) Now, as Jason pointed out in his email to me, The fact that they're losing money should not be a reason to get rid of this safety device. It's a safety device. Of course it's going to cost money. (laughs) Members of Aurora City Council discussed pumping the brakes on a contract with a tech vendor after several months of losing money on a van-based network of cameras that photograph and generate tickets for speeding drivers. You know, other cities have figured out ways to do this and make money. This thing seems about as useful as a chicken wire raft to me, said a council member, attempting humor. Uh, We're going nowhere with it. Council members voted in July of 2022 to launch the pilot program, and a trio of vans equipped with radar and cameras hit the streets a year later. The city imagined that the program would pay for itself through the money raised from traffic citations. But by the end of December, the program was reportedly $352,000 in the hole, with city and police officials blaming operational problems as well as the difficulty of finding people to staff the van. Apparently, you got to have somebody in the van? Or is that just to move it around? I'm surprised. Aurora lawmakers who attended the meeting of the committee discussed pulling the plug on the city's contract with the contractor, which lawmakers were told provides the vans at a total monthly cost of $83,000 a month. Staffing the van costs another $35,000. Council members ultimately directed city staffers to investigate how the city might cut its losses, but did not declare their desire to sever the city's relationship with the contractor, which would have left the city on the hook for an outstanding balance of about $1 million. On Thursday, a lieutenant from the police department reported that the city was on track to lose even more on the program, $535,000 by the end of February, and has only extended a single job offer since January. So it's unclear if nobody's applying for these jobs or nobody wants them. Contract is scheduled to end in about four months, while the interim police chief said the vans are deterring speeding in the areas where they are parked. She, too, was pessimistic about the city recouping the cost of the vans. I know that in Birmingham, Michigan, where I grew up, the police just had extra police cars. And they'd occasionally park them on the sides of roads where they wanted people to slow down. Because your natural instinct is, oh, there's a cop car, I'll slow down. And you drive by and there's no cop in it. Like, oh, okay. But I don't think it cost them $352,000 to do that. Meanwhile, the uh, contractor is in the process of being bought by another company. And someone suggested the city decline the renewal of the contract with the new parent company when the handover occurs. And that's assuming that they can do that. I'm not sure what kind of contract they've got. We're just going to get more and more and more in the hole every month until we can get this sorted out if we don't take this opportunity, someone said. State law allows police to set up the vans near schools, city parks, and ongoing road work, as well as in residential neighborhoods with speed limits of 35 miles per hour or less, and in areas where police have recorded a high number of accidents or complaints about speeding. Aurora police mail tickets to drivers caught traveling less than 25 over, And they send officers to follow up with you if you drove 25 or more over the limit. 
So uh, they said that as of March 12th, the vans had captured 7,000 violations, including 39 high-speed violations and 2,500 regular violations that resulted in tickets being mailed. A further 241 violations were being processed, while 4,000 were thrown out for various reasons. So <laughs> it captured four, uh, 7,000 violations, but actually there were 4,000 more that were thrown out. So I'm just doing some really rough numbers here. But the 4,000 out of 11,000 is approaching 40% of tickets being written that were bad. So people with the city said they supported city staffers preparing an ordinance terminating the contract and presenting it to the committee in April. City manager also agreed to look into the timeline for the city seeking bids for a vendor to replace this one. Contract is heavily biased to the vendor at the expense of the city. We're losing right now, and the contractor is winning well, that's kind of a strange way to put it because it sounds like you're basically in an adversarial relationship with your contractor. But somebody should have pointed out that there's a variety of ways they can do this. And I've seen it before where they've got an automated device that just sits by the side of the road like a robot and doesn't require any human babysitting, and it kicks out tickets. And for some odd reason, the fact that they put this in a van, there's got to be a person in the van for some reason, uh, drives the cost up. And... Apparently, there's not enough people breaking the law. At least they don't write enough tickets to pay for this thing's keep, as they say. So, as Jason, however, wisely pointed out, it's not supposed to be about the money. It's supposed to be about safety. But, of course, <laughs> if we're going to spend half a million dollars uh, simply telling people, hey, you're driving a bit too fast. And, by the way, that's apparently the cost to the city after these tickets get paid you got some very serious problems. you got some very serious problems. So, so these things aren't making anything safer, I wouldn't think, but they are digging the city into a hole. And it's one of those ideas where I've seen the presentations made by people who come into cities or different places and pitch an idea. They go, we've got this thing. We've got this widget, this device. We want to sell it to you. Here's how it makes money. And they can give you examples. We, 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 we sold one of these people. We sold one of these people. Here's how it works. And I can't imagine they did that here because if they were truthful and said, well, it's going to dig you into a hole, a couple hundred thousand dollars a month every month you run it, they would never have signed a contract. And yet here we are. <laughs> so Jason, thanks for sending it. It's a strange one out of Colorado from the uh, Sentinel in Colorado. Max Levy wrote that. Aurora lawmakers propose ending photo radar van contract after mushrooming financial losses. Questions or comments? Put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. Climb the mountain so you can see the world, not so the world can see you.